Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome back to another morning word. For those new to this, this is where I share a couple minute video really to share from my own personal Bible study. Why? Because I genuinely want to see your life go to the next level. Well, how do we do that? Because God gave us the promise that, you know, I came to give you life and life more abundantly, which is great, but how do you do it? Well, one of the ways that God says that you do that is by changing your mind. Because the Bible says this, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So the more that we can think like God, there is no valley that we can't come through and there is no mountain top that we can't reach because there is nothing that is impossible for God, which means that there, is, there will be nothing that is impossible for you. Now, got to say this, whatever I'm saying today, please study out for yourself. And if it makes sense, if it resonates with you, please then take massive action. Listening, listening alone will not transform your life, but taking action by what you listen to will produce the fruit of God's wisdom. So let's get into this. We're going to be reading from the uh, book of Se uh, 2 Samuel, which is the 10th book of the Bible. And we're going to be reading from chapter 6, verse 7. And it reads this. When they came to the threshing floor of Nacon, um, Uzzah reached out and took hold of the ark of God. Because the oxen stumbled, the Lord's anger burned against Uzzah and his, uh, for his irrelevant act. Therefore, God struck him down and, and he died there beside the ark of God. I'm going to call this morning's word, good intentions, wrong actions. Good intentions, wrong actions. Now, at this initial scene when, and initial reading, it seems so unfair. Like, I don't know about anyone else. When I first read this, I was like, how is this fair? This guy genuinely had the good intentions of saying, I don't want to see the ark of God, which is the most precious thing that was in the nation of Israel, fall to the floor. You know, he, so he, he stopped it from falling to the floor, did a good thing, did an amazing thing. All right, you would have thought, but that cost him his life. His good intentions cost him his life because you know why? Good intentions, wrong actions. The reason being, it was said that no man should ever touch the Ark of the Covenant. The covenant. That was a law. You couldn't do that and there were consequences. No matter how good your intentions were, if you do the wrong thing, if you do this one thing, these will be the consequences. Also, it should never have been carried by the oxen. We should have always been carried on carrying poles. Um, and that was the intention, so that would have never have happened. So the good intention of trying to move something quicker ended up in someone dying. You know, someone's good intentions, okay, ha had the total wrong actions and had consequences that resulted in someone's death. Now that seems really extreme, but we can look at this and let's have a look at, you know, how we can really learn from that. What about a parent, and I've been here, you have the good intentions but the wrong actions by spoiling your child. Because you spoil a child and you give your child everything and you don't discipline them. Why? Because you're trying to show them love. You had the intentions, I just want to show them how much I love them. But actually it was a wrong, in, was a wrong action. Because what you then uh, rose then uh, and had your child rise up to be an incredibly small brat. And I've seen that. I've been in that situation. Okay, where I've had the good intention but the wrong action when it came to my kids. It may be that husband who's just desperate for his wife to know that he loves her. So he gets her a car and he gets her in debt. Good intentions. I just want to show you how much I love you, babe. You know, and I'll do the world for you. But the wrong action. And he gets that family into a financial crisis. You know, there are so many, so many things, examples that we could think of where you can have the right intention, but do the wrong actions and have consequences that unfortunately are based on your, on, on your wrong actions. So let's uh, get into the question of the morning. The question of the morning is this, are you taking the wrong actions with good intentions? Here's a lesson of the day. Even if your intentions are good, pure and genuine, if the actions are not correct, the outcomes will still be a negative one. Isn't that crazy? The outcomes will still be a negative one. Good intentions for a positive act, um, outcome are not enough. You must ensure you're taking the right actions. That's what you really got to focus on today. Are you taking the right actions? Here's the action of the day. Ensure before you take action that you align to the results you desire to achieve. Make sure, not just your good intentions, that the actions that you take today are aligned to the results that you want to achieve. Think it through before you do it. Don't just go off on good intentions. Really think it through. Is this really going to give me the things that I really desire? So God bless you. Hope that helps you because there's a lot of good people out there trying to do good things, but they're just taking the wrong actions and getting the wrong results uh, that they really desire. So uh, as we always say, we gen hope God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. Please subscribe to uh, Gen TV where you get these videos Monday to Friday. We're not looking for anything from you. We just really want to bless you. And it's so